Tracy, uh, the Tracy Show, going at it with Scott the Engineer. Really? What was oh, that yeah, all yeah. about? What Holy were they man. into it for? It's a little... I, I don't know. Tracy's <laughs> on fire. And... I heard her promo, and she said she had a list of everybody who she has a problem with. So. Yeah, well, she has a problem with Scott, I guess. Oh, boy. I'm happy with Scott. <laughs> uh, compared to Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. That I'm, should be interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Scott was actually very civil, handled himself well, because Tracy was really going on at him, and uh, oh, yeah? Scott was just kind of like laughing it off a little bit. Good for him. Yeah, I was actually inspired that he was able under, under fire to just sort of calmly sit there and go. <laughs> yeah, know. I don't think we've ever seen that side of him before. No, no, I guess he was being a gentleman. You know what I mean? It was, he was arguing with a woman. So. Right, and he, he restrained himself. Yeah. So, that's a smart move. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I know, because... <laughs> well, I, well, no, maybe you don't. Mm. <laughs> I was trying to think of a time. Mike, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, um... I'm so fucking bamboozled over all that bullshit, too. It blows my mind. But I wanted to ask, what's going on with uh, with Ronnie and J.D.? I think Ronnie's a little jealous of J.D. that he's talented. He has a show now. Yeah, J.D.'s on the show with Tracy last night. Yeah, how's that working out? Are they uh, a good team? Yeah, they're a great team. Yeah, they uh, they work well together. Uh -huh. and Tracy was on there yelling about Scott. Scott called in. He was upset. But uh, he, he managed to keep calm, and, and, and as Tracy was just blasting him all over the place. Wow. You want to hear some of that? Yes, I would love to. All right. I got, and then I will ask Scott how the hell he remained so calm. All right, here's Tracy trashing Scott last night on the Tracy show. I don't know what Tracy calls her show. Happy uh, Hour. Happy Hour, right. yes. A play on the fact that Tracy's very rarely sounding happy. She's more pissed off than anybody. <laughs> Find someone you haven't damaged. Oh, God, there's so many. I mean, we could definitely go on to Scott the Engineer. I mean, <laughs> well, let's. I'm Why not don't we? lie about that one. <laughs> I, for the life of me, Scott the Engineer, he's a really nice guy outside of the office. I like his wife. She's really nice outside the office. But I have never seen anyone in my life with such a low tolerance for work, with such a pawned off <laughs> attitude, and with such a sense of laziness. Like, uh, literally, if Scott requests a CD for me and I have to order it from Howard's office, it'll come in. Five months later, they'll come to me and say, hey, we haven't seen this CD. I will go back because I keep every email back and forth, no matter what it is, and I will find the email of Scott requesting this CD. And I will go into Scott's studio and I will say, Scott, do you have this CD? You requested this CD for me. And Scott will say, no, I don't have it. Or 10 minutes will go by. He'd be like, I looked, I don't have it. And I will wait for Scott to fucking leave and go home. And then I will go into Scott's studio and I'll find the CD each and every time. He doesn't even think about fucking looking because he's too busy working on his son's goddamn CD. Or oh. playing on the phone when the show ends. Because we all know he's not playing with the mics or equalizing anything. Because that would be just way too much of a fucking stretch. Uh, uh, and the way that he talks to Tim, even though I just called Tim out for shitting, is, I mean, the fact that he broke his phone from slamming it down so hard, to me, if I was his boss and he ever fucking talked to me that way, he would be out of here so fucking fast, he wouldn't even have time to put his coat on. I'm sorry. I don't understand it. I don't underget it. There, There's just so many people here that work so hard to let that shit fly on a daily basis. I don't understand. Wow. But again, let's finish that up. <laughs> I like Scott and I like his wife. <laughs> but I don't respect his work ethic. I'm sorry, I don't. Do some fucking work. Like, I, we're working on this project where we're digitizing everything. Everyone else does it for themselves. Scott's the only one who just makes his intern do it for him. That's it. I don't have to do it. We're just going to give it to my intern. But John Hine, who hosts a show and puts together specials all over this channel, he's got to stop everything he's doing to work on this project. Look at fucking John Hunterlock, which is another story, but I'm not going to go. <laughs> he, too, spends his weekends here putting this stuff into the system, but not Scott. Scott can't be bothered. Scott can't deal with it because I know when the show ends, until he leaves, he's so busy doing nothing <laughs> that he can't be bothered with actually helping out on this project. Do we want to take a call? I, on that note, I think I'm pretty much done with that. Wow. I don't really... <laughs> yeah. Good Lord. What else am I going to say? I have...
No idea what you could say. Yeah, oh, I, I think I cover that. Oh, do we want to talk about the fact that Scott uses my corporate card without my permission <laughs> and then thinks it's okay and says, well, it's a corporate card. It's not your problem. No, fuckhead. It's not a corporate card. Yes, it's given to me by the company, but it's attached to my social security. It's attached to my credit report, my name, my address. It's the same thing as you using my MasterCard. Don't fucking use my credit card without my permission. What the fuck are you thinking? And then not even tell me until like a week later. That is way inappropriate, and quite frankly, it's a federal offense. So keep the fuck up. <laughs> We're going to nip that shit. Next call, please. I need to move on. The kids are natural. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay? uh, Tracy's a natural. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh I'm, okay. Yeah. I'm pissed, but I'm okay. Next call, please. Okay. <laughs> Eddie the Produce Guy. <laughs> He's, uh, JD. You are on the air. Okay. <laughs> I've gotten luck. it all out. I've gotten it all out. <laughs> JD, uh, just along for the ride on that Tracy Happy oh, Hour. Oh my goodness! Yeah, she uh, went off. She was that, the funniest line is he is gonna, you know, by the time this show ends, he won't have gotten anything done because he's been so busy doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, and Scott was livid, <laughs> and uh, but he and like he was not going to call in. Really, he this tried was, to keep his hands off the phone. <laughs> yeah, but he had to call in. He was like, you <laughs> he had be to kidding defend me. himself. Yeah, and we'll go right to the calls. Scott in New Jersey, you are on the air. Good evening, everybody. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, just fine, Scott. How are you? Good. What's new? I love the way you uh, talk about people. <laughs> really? Because what did I say that I didn't call you out on in the office? Did we not get into a twenty-minute fight about my credit card? The credit card, I was unaware. You gave it to me once before to use. I apologize for using it. Jerry actually said to me that they needed to buy something off iTunes. Uh huh. And uh, Scott, you know, was uh, he thought he had permission to use this, so he didn't uh. call Tracy. But, but according to Tracy, Scott should have checked with her anyway every time he uses it because it turns out the card was expired. Oh, dear. Right. But Scott had no way of knowing that because he didn't call Tracy. Yes. But you can see how these things blow up. Again. No, 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 you didn't. You never fucking apologize, Scott. You never. I'm you said, what do you care? It's a corporate card. It's not. It doesn't go to you. And I told you, no, it does go to me. It's against my social security number. It's against my credit report. And you just chose to give me attitude. I had a, and the worst part was, is you used a fucking credit card that I had canceled. So not only did I have to deal with the fact that you were using my card without my fucking knowledge, but then I had to go back and deal with iTunes 15 fucking times to try and fix the mistake that you had made because you didn't just ask me. You didn't take five fucking seconds to ask me before you just took my shit without my permission. You fucked up, Scott. You fucked up, Scott. <laughs> you fucked up. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you, and you not once did you ever apologize. Right, so I, I actually apologize. resent that you say that. I, I, now you apologize? That's fine. Then I accept your apology. Don't do it again, especially because that card is not good anymore. Wow. <laughs> She's a firecracker, huh? She's a natural. Yes. Just press play. Boom. <laughs> get some interesting radio there. You know, I admire anyone who can get on the radio, and it's a vacuum, really. It's just a dead space. And That's right. It's like the empty page that a writer looks if, at. If you can come up with something compelling, oh, fine. She's got a happy hour. <laughs> happy hour. <laughs> she should actually do it from a bar now that I'm thinking. Uh, like, that would be great. Where they could have a few pops. And, yeah. Oh, know, boy. And maybe talk to some of the people at the bar. And, mm. You know, set up a little bar. Something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Tracy's place. Definitely wasn't a happy hour for Scott, though. I mean, I don't see how he'd be happy. Well, was that his only no, 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 he's rebuttal? The, no, no, no. They, 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 got it, they went in at it for a long time. Okay. Do you think you work hard for your money? I work hard. I get there at 3.30 in the morning. I'm okay. responsible for a lot of things that go what, on. What, fucking up the microphones that Howard's bitches about you fucking up on a daily basis? No, I, is that what it is? No, he doesn't bitch about Then what does Evan Mandelbaum, our engineer, do while you're fixing the microphones? We both... Me and Evan both work on the show. We both are responsible for things. I do production. I do. I make sure the studio is is work in working order every morning. No, your intern does that. He's the one who goes no, in, he, makes sure everything is together, he and he do, does it with Evan. He doesn't do any of that. Okay, Scott. When you had sir, your hernia surgery two years ago, and you recommended an ex intern to fill in for you, what is that? What do you think that said about you? <laughs> Do you not know that was a big topic? The fact that you you personally recommended an intern to do your to get, job. To get by with certain things, not to do everything. Oh, Scott, but how do you think that made you look? 
<laughs> at the end of the day, people don't, aren't looking at the big picture. They're looking, they're saying, you know, you're saying, I want her to do this or I want her to do that. But everyone's saying, Scott just recommended a fucking intern to do his job and thinks she can do it. So, no, but I, how do you think that made I, you look? Hold on. Uh, that I'm not going to get into, so that we can um, forget yeah, about I'm that. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I work hard. The, the, the hardest worker? I don't know. I don't, you know, it's possible. It's not, I think JD's probably the hardest worker. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> Poor Scott. <laughs> you don't want to cross paths with uh, Tracy. No, I don't think wow. he has a defense. I think he was being a gentleman. One thing he's not going to get into at all. I don't know what that was. I about. think he was just like this. Is ridiculous. Well, I mean, she makes a point. You're, you know, you're supposed to be. Well, maybe he was thinking, you know, they need someone to do some menial tasks while I'm gone that I perform and that this person's able to do. And <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I don't well, know. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> we both don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know. I didn't even know that Tracy and Scott go at it. But this is, I mean, that's yeah. an interesting argument. You could be replaced by an intern. Right. Tracy makes some points there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's right in this. I have no idea um, what Scott was thinking. Vic, go ahead. Howard, what's up, y'all? Hey, y'all. Chilling, chilling. Robin, what's going on? No, please, get to the point. All right, Tracy is a cunt. That fucking oh. accent cuts through me like fucking steel. I can't stand her, but she makes a good point about Scott. <laughs> I have to give it up about it. Uh, Mike, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yes, Mike. How you doing? Hey. Tracy is radio gold, Howard. Same. This chick, she's hysterical. She talks like she's on her radio for years, and she lays right into him. It's amazing. She does have that ability. Yeah. And yeah. here she was when you first offered her the job. She was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to be on the <laughs> I can see She's why. She's a natural. She might get lynched. <laughs> it's just the way she speaks. Like she speaks, quite frankly. Like she just speaks like, like she's been doing it for like 20 years. Yeah, she's very natural. She's very natural on the she's air. Ready she... to go. Keep her on, Howard. Good All right, job. Very good. Thanks, Mike. All right, later. Yeah, they, they went at it for a while. You want more? Sure. Okay. Just stuff that... I'm not a secretary. You okay, gotta, I'm not a secretary either. I have not, other shit to do. I'm not a secretary. I'm an audio engineer. My yeah, you're an audio engineer who can take five fucking minutes to put the information out of the shit you record into a database. Gonna, I'm not asking you to cure cancer, Scott. It's something that you're already involved in. Why is it such a horrible thing to have you take an extra five minutes out of your day to do this shit? Get off the fucking phone or whatever you're doing. It's not going to kill you. Be a team player, Scott. It's not going to kill you. We're talking about one year's worth of CDs. So what is it? Maybe 40 CDs? So what is it? What's four times five? 200 minutes? 200 minutes of your life you can't spend helping out the fucking team. Is that like a horrible thing to ask of you? You're earning six fucking figures. Earn it. You know what I make. Earn it. Who said you? Who said I'm earning six? Oh, Scott, <laughs> come on. You know what I make. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it seven <laughs> figures? Because you bitch too much for it to be more than that, but you don't bitch enough for it to be less than that. Okay? Well, you have no idea of what I make. And really? Because you know, I remember when we first got there and you bitched about, I went for this, I didn't go for that. Now I'm pissed. Scott, all you do is bitch about it. All you do. And if you think I'm the bitch, only one that's going to say about? it. What did you hear me bitch about? Do you not remember when we first got there, we had the entire conversation about how you felt that you didn't get a fair deal and, and you had prompted for this, but you didn't prompt for that. And now you were pissed off and you felt like you were getting a raw deal. Well, Do you not remember that? Some things, some things. Yeah. Are you happy about everything that you get? Do you want more money? Would you like more money for what you do? Absolutely. And okay. I stake, and I state okay. my claim. But, Scott, I also, you know, you and may come we, in earlier than me. It's about between us and the office, between people. I didn't want to bring this up. You're the one who touched on this. You're the bring, one who touched on this. I didn't bring up bitching about salary and bitching about things like that. You, <laughs> all, you started you know? with me like saying I'm lazy uh, and I don't work for my money. Boy, they're good. Mm. Those two are good together. Maybe they should be doing a show together. Maybe they should be married. <laughs> Scott's funny, though, because he doesn't realize he complains to everybody about everything. I know, and then he's shocked when people bring it up. <laughs> so when do I complain? <laughs> uh, how about all the time? <laughs> when are you not? Ronnie says Scott complains every minute. Yeah. But, the, but he's not aware that he complains. Not at all.
And then he says to Tracy, when have I ever complained? Right away she's got an example. Yeah, right. And he goes, oh, <laughs> foiled again. I have one last clip if you want to hear okay. it. Okay. All right. To, to the fact of the matter that I will come into you and say, do you have this CD? And I have to wait for you to leave so I can find it. Because I, I you won't take the five fucking minutes. Scott, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> More than once. We have had this conversation. I have found at least ten CDs in your office that you couldn't take the time to fucking look for. Don't tell me that that's not true. You just don't know because I wait for you to leave and then I find it. You can't be bothered. So I have to be bothered. I have to stop what I'm doing. To just look for CDs in your fucking clutter of a mess of a studio. Clean that shit out. You don't even know what you have in there. Half the shit that I'm getting hounded on by Laura and Eric on a daily basis, I know is in that fucking office. But every time I touch a shelf, shit falls all over me. Uh, you tell me. You give me a list of things that you want, that you need from me, that you think I I want have. you to clean it. There's no, no, Outside no, no. of the desk, there's nothing in there that you need to have. There's nothing that belongs to you. Everything in there belongs to Howard Stern and belongs in Howard's office. And if you got a problem with it, bring it up with Howard's office. That's the way it is. And if you don't know what should be yours and what shouldn't, have your intern take an inventory of everything in there. There, are, there are a bunch of dats in there okay. that I need. Okay, then why have. can't you have your intern make an inventory of what's in there and let them decide what they need and what they don't? There why are. can't you do that? I just, I just said there are a bunch of... I know exactly what's in there. And if you want to ask me for something... You know what's in there. You know barcodes and fucking years and dates and everything that's in there. You're going to tell me. I know what dats are in there, yeah. Okay, well, that's great. And above and beyond the dats, when I'm looking for XRK are. calls and I'm looking for Stuttering John interviews, you know what's in there and what's not? Because that's the shit I find when you're too lazy to look for it yourself. You, show me an email from the last year. Show me an email. From the last year. I don't even waste my time emailing you, Scott, yeah. anymore. I don't. You can't because do it. You cannot. Are you fucking kidding me? I can absolutely <laughs> do it. I promise you. I just don't waste my time on going through you anymore because it's just that a waste of my time. You can't back No. Oh, a okay. sweetheart. I right. promise you I can back it. Okay, we have five seconds. Have fun, everyone. Goodbye. Love you. Come see me. Bye. Wow. Did you get what you wanted? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> that's some show. Man. I guess if you drive it in your car, that's got to be worth a subscription. Absolutely. Sure. I want to know how Scott remains so calm. <laughs> <laughs> With me, he starts yelling immediately. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Scott, how'd you remain so calm? You blew the whistle once! Wow. Listen, if it wasn't a push-up, you would have blown it more! Just, That's all I gotta say. Wait, he said. Hey, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm down. I know it. You better pay off. Whoa. How come I get yelled at? Who Tracy. Who was that guy just yelling? Yeah, I mean, how did you remain so calm during that? Good morning. Good job. Um, mm. thank you. Um, I just don't. I'm. Uh, Were you I, home I, smoking weed or I something? Refuse, <laughs> I refuse to go to a place. That's gonna get me crazy and go to a pl up to a rantings of a mad person. Yeah, a lot of the guys said they're afraid to um, argue with Tracy because they're afraid that she'll do that to them. I'm not afraid, but, but, you know, when somebody starts throwing out crap and lies, I'm just not going to go there. It does, it's not worth it. I see. I'm getting too old for this, so I'm just... You're too old for You're all of tired. it. You're just tired. I'm tired of it. I just want to... Can't You're we just all get along? I mean, I work with people. I'm trying to get along. Tracy so says I do bitch the... and moan, so does everybody else. I mean, Not you're... everybody else, God. Come on. Everybody mm. has things that they bitch and moan about. Maybe Tracy I do it a little more, uh... but I know I do it a lot less than I used to do it. I'm trying to watch that. I'm trying try to be more that. positive. I'm try... Yeah, I'm right. trying to be more positive in my life. Tracy says you're not positive enough. Apparently, she has a big problem. And what about this whole CD thing? Return the CDs to her. I do. I don't have any CDs in there. You I know. told her to come in and look. And and as far as her coming in and going through my shit, I don't think you'd like that either. So if Yeah, she, but Tracy makes a point. It's all it's, my shit. It's not your shit. No, I, no, I not, understand that. If she went to your house and went through your shit, that'd be wrong. It was like I went on her desk and started going through her desk. I see. You know, it's, it's just your space. I mean, I it's see. your workspace. I mean, you don't want anybody going through your workspace. Yeah, but it's if she right. asks you for something and you won't give it to her. I, I, listen, I, if she asks me for something and I look and I can't, I don't, you know... 
I know everything that's in my studio right uh, now. Listen. So, because <laughs> she took all the other stuff. She out. took everything out, so I'm not. I don't have anything to to worry about. I know well, she does like you personally and your wife. And you're well, great off the air. I'm happy out about of the that. office. That's very nice. I've seen her. a lot of guys come out much worse in Tracy's life. <laughs> <laughs> she at least no. likes you. I think Benji. She's still not talking to you, right? No. Well. No, I mean, yeah, she does. She, she's very uh, bitchy to me. Right. Uh, really, without yeah. talking. Yeah, and I heard that, like, you would complain to her that you want her to be nice to you. No, and when did I complain to her? I thought on the wrap up show I heard you say. Oh, maybe on there. the air, like yeah. I said, yeah, she treats me like crap. And yeah. she said, there's no way I'm going to treat you nicely. <laughs> I, I mean, you I think she treats a lot of people like crap. Right. I, I'm just not going to go to that level. I'm, I'm fine. If she wants to bitch and moan, hey, talk about bitch and moaning. I mean, she thinks I complain. <laughs> I, I really. I mean, how can well, I, she seems to complain how about can you. I get mad at that? Right. I mean, really, it's just well, totally very ridiculous. Calm. I was very impressed, actually. Thank you. I mean, I'm right. just, it's to my new me. I'm just trying to be positive. I, I don't. Are need... you a Buddhist or something? Yeah. I mean, what happened? Uh, yeah, I'm maybe a he's a, he I'm a like tiger. Tiger Woods. Yeah. This guy's yeah. like self realized. Uh, tiger Woods teacher. Right. No, you know what? It's just not worth it. Right. I, you know, I know what I do here. I know what I've done. I do work hard. I, yeah, okay. I bitch and moan. I'm trying to get better at that, too. All right. Um, Are you in fun. therapy? Is that what's going on? I mean, this is a new you. I'm in self-therapy. Is I that mean, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, did you read a book? What book is this? <laughs> telling you Are you reading this? a book? Is Dr. It Sigmund Doe. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's the uh, audio book. No. Um, All right. No, All right. I just, no, I'm not reading anything. I'm just deciding within myself that, you know, it's not good for me to, to get... Did a doctor tell you that you needed to de-stress or Nobody something? Nobody told me. No, right. myself. I told myself. Right. Look at this stress. guy. He's like a Buddha. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe he's going to start a movement do i get point. stressed out and pissed off at times of course right. i mean everybody does and i try to hold it back and you know, i was very respectful on the phone and believe me i was holding a lot back on the phone <laughs> right. call you could have really made personal I, I, attack. I could have went you crazy go, like you just I heard on that test clench buddy <laughs> um but I, I i believe that it's it's you know if she wants to rant and rave fine that's her space and that's her place all right do you I'm think not any of it, it was justified do you think any of it was true you know what it, there's downtime for everybody. I mean, does she work eight hours straight a day and not and sit around and not be on the phone? And I, I, I'm not going there. Oh, I'm right. sure there's a lot. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that, if you look into everybody's space and you watch them eight hours a day, can you find shit that you, you could complain about about that person? Right. Sure. I'm sure that you could find anything about anybody. I don't think with JD you'd find anything wrong. JD works very hard. All right, there um, you go. Except stuff. when he's eating McDonald's. Right. I mean, he actually, he even eats his McDonald's when he's working. Right, he does. So, he so does. He, he eats, eats and works his desk. desk. All right, Scott, I feel uh, very proud of you that uh, you kind of didn't get sucked he into He has a this. new philosophy. Uh, I do. I really do. I mean, whether I could, you know, get through it all the time, it's, it's not easy. And there are times when I do explode, and I will explode. All right. And Seems I, to be mostly at me. All right. So, thank no, you. no. Right. Thank I'm you, very Scott. grateful to you. You know that. Yes, yeah, thank I, you. Thank you very much. All right. All right. We've had enough of you. Thank you very <laughs> I've been much. Too all, nice. right. all right. You did well. Thanks. All right. For once, he uh, came through. Thank you. I'm, I'm amazed at this new philosophy. This is incredible. <laughs> yeah, because who would think he's self-realized? <laughs> yeah, really. All right, Just all like right. your green drink, this is my brain drink. I mean, all I all right, whatever. thank you. Um, for some reason now, I, I'm having trouble uh, cutting you off. All right, yeah. he won't leave. He won't leave. I say thank you, and you won't leave. Get the fuck out. <laughs> all right, he's happy that he did well, that's all. Oh, my goodness. All right, very good, Scott. Got to say, for once you came out like a mensch. Tracy was really laying it on him. And he was reasonable and composed. Yeah. She couldn't crack him. <laughs>